two, three, number four. Number <laughs> Was an ad abrupt stop uh, of applause, but uh, hello, hi, <laughs> I am here. Um, can't believe everybody stopped clapping at once. Okay, uh, wild, desperate times call for desperate measures. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, I'm Marissa. Oh my God, thrilled to have you all. Oops. Okay, let's mute that, okay. A lot of stuff going on on my end. As you can see, if you weren't here last time, I've got headphones in, which means we've upped the tech. And you can see that there's sort of a fun framing thing going on, okay? Go off in the comments in the comments if you love that frame, okay? Okay, um, we got some friends here. I got some friends here with me tonight. We got Jimmy, the dog. We got Coco, the rabbit. Coco short for concussion rabbit because I got this rabbit uh, when I got a concussion. And then we've got, hey, this sloth. So here's the thing. This sloth does not have a name. So throughout the show, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping you guys can start voting on a name. So go off in the comments about a name. I have to remind everybody, uh, like, uh, so subscribe, okay? Because if we get a certain number of subscribers and we can start monetizing this, AKA pay performers, AKA support the arts, okay? And if you don't do that, then I don't know, figure yourself out or something. Okay, great. So before we kind of get into it, guys, um, I have some exciting news. Um, I talked to a doctor today and what I heard from the doctor is, so they, they say, this is a fact that, um, Doctors say you ha there's a thing called Super Supreme Health 2.0. Super Supreme Health 2.0. It means you're incredibly healthy. It's sort of a positive condition you can have. And um, I heard some of the reasons that you might be able to get uh, that you would have this sort of immunity. So um, let's read some of those reasons. Uh, number one, um, so uh, if you have this, then you have this health community, if this is something that happened to you. For some reason, you had folding chairs at your bat mitzvah, and when they lifted you into the air, uh, the chair uh, folded you in half. So if that happened at your bat mitzvah, you're super healthy. Uh, what else? Okay, you get upset with, uh, with the fact that there are uh, so, uh, loose curls over here and tight curls over here that upsets you. And if, if that's upsetting to you, then you might have this uh, super supreme health 2.0. Uh, and the last one is you have, you have three good friends named uh, Jimmy, Coco, and TBD. So, uh, oh, we've got some names. Uh, Sloppy the Sloth, uh, Coco again, more Coco, Hergel. I like Hergel. Someone suggested baby, and that actually is my cousin, and he knows that I grew up with um, a very special little panda bear named Baby, so go off in the comments if you uh, if you love Baby, because fucking he's the coolest. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, what's going to happen tonight? We've got this Google Doc, as you can see, okay? We're, we're scrolling through this Google Doc, and we got some... Uh, so we've got some people up as well streaming in. There's a lot of moving parts here. And, and as we know from the corporate world, moving parts is a good thing. Okay, um, so here's my section. Um, very good stuff. Um, and I'll show you sort of the vibe of what's gonna happen. 
Um, here we go. Look, a, uh, a, a GIF comes up and then you can see me sort of going, oh, sick, I love The Simpsons, <laughs> word. Um, and that is kind of a, a great experience for everyone involved. Oh my God, I literally forgot, literally forgot of something so important. Okay, let's do this. Okay, theme, oops, okay, okay. And see, and you can see some of the tech stuff happening live. And by that, I mean mistakes. Okay, okay, theme song. All right, let's do this. Welcome to Marissa's Google Doc Party. Marissa's Google Doc Party. Pretty good. That is by Zuja. Look her up on Bandcamp. That shit fucking slaps, okay? Uh, We've got a theme song, so we're legit, okay? Subscribe. Um, okay, so what else might happen? Okay, uh, you never know what's happening on the internet these days, right? Okay, so you could be on the internet, and you could, I mean, you could be watching this right now, and little do you know that I, I'm actually on the screen. It's not just a video of me. Maybe I'm stuck in the screen. Maybe I'll get lost somewhere, you know what I mean? Maybe what I'm trying to say is, Maybe it is possible to get lost in cyberspace. Eh? You ever think that? Uh, you ever think that might happen to you? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, but uh, on that note, I have to go and look for my sock. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, 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 what do you know? Here I am, uh, inside a Google Doc. You probably didn't see this coming. Um, you heard about this somewhere, click the link. Uh, you saw a Google Doc quarantine party and you probably weren't thinking there was gonna, there was gonna be a full uh, girl inside. Uh, you probably, I mean, you probably weren't thinking there's gonna be a full woman inside of this doc, but, um, here we are, um, I'm in here and um, you don't know what's gonna happen. And let me tell you, a lot of things can happen in this Google Doc tonight. A lot of things can happen, okay? So right now I'm here, but soon I might be here. You know what I'm saying? And you probably didn't expect that. That's sort of surprising to see me come out of, at a different a different spot. Um, so, you know, and within the next second, I could be over here. You know, and that's a lot, and that's um, and that's interesting. And again, I could show up over here, or over here, or here, <laughs> or honestly over here. Um, and this spot perhaps was more surprising than the others because it's a corner and I am diagonal. <laughs> oh boy. Um, these are just a bunch of sort of M. Night Sh Shyamalan twists, right? Like you're, you're thinking the plot's going one way, now it's going the other way. And this is kind of fun for me at home. Um, I know exactly what you're thinking because um, I'm an empath. Oh, oh my God, okay. Well, I didn't find my sock, um, so yeah. So yeah, it's hard over here. I can't find my sock. So um, let's see. We're gonna bring on our first guest, okay? Um, you saw him last week, okay? He's very funny and he actually also is the DJ. Give it up for DJ Papa. <laughs> Matt, hello. I mean, DJ hey. Poppergosh, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Good, I'm how doing, are you? I'm doing good. I've been going down a bunch of rabbit holes of YouTube videos and things that I like, but I figured if we're going to be doing a little party essence, uh, I, I, and I got to bring that five more, we got the color changing light. Oh, oh that. Okay. Um, but that that also is incredible. 
very cheap. It was uh, 10 bucks. But then also on top of that, uh, I figured to really get the party going, uh, I will try to talk to you while I'm doing a little bit of rush. <gasps> this is okay. this is just uh, rush. Uh, rush. Uh, so we're and for my parents, can you explain what Rush is so my parents understand? Uh, from what I understand, it's like uh, if you just got concentrated Sharpie fumes, okay. and then you huff that, and then... And uh, too high. It, yeah, for like 10 seconds, you get a little bit of a headache, and you start... Well, here what's up. Here's what's up. I'm about to get high off of my Baby Bell cheese, okay? Hello. Oh! Big thing. Zing. Zing. It, okay. Oh, string cheese boy. for adults. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. So I've been uh, uh, really fascinated lately by, uh, in terms of music, okay. uh, I'm listening. Uh, a lot of celebrities have pasta sauce. I like this Bon Jovi one that says, <laughs> "This ain't your mom sauce. It's my dad's." Um, uh, we got uh, Marky Ramon underneath with some beautiful pasta sauce. And I don't know what it is about being that age uh, and becoming a meatball in yourself. Uh, uh, got a Joe, a Joe Perry holding bottles as well uh, of his hot sauce. Uh, it's been very fun. I've been going between that and uh, animatronics with their batteries going out. Okay. Uh, which has been I'll very say, fun. That is something. Oh wait, wait. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't update the to everybody. This is sort of another important thing. Other important. Song. It's a kind of a classic pose if you're holding a bottle. You gotta have yeah. both in both hands. You know, they're really they're really killing that pose. I gotta say, I Beautiful. gotta say. Um, can I can I chime in and say my mom said, "What you think we're the only ones we who don't get it?" So apparently they know they know what poppers are. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I suggest you do a huff with me and everybody at home. Uh, <laughs> you do a nice big huff of poppers with me. Uh, but I, before I uh, get out of here, show my little video and all that stuff, we got a riddle. Uh, and this next video is going to have... Uh, let's see if we can figure it out. Oh. You want me to play the video? <laughs> uh, here, wait. Uh, oh, I'll shrink that down a little bit. Oh. Oh, it's so, a riddle. That's a riddle. Yeah, can you guess who's in it? And then the chat. Or, or who it is. Okay, let's see if some people are going on the chat. Who it's a little bit of a lag, so we should wait. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get so that. So this is supposed to be a person. Uh well and it all, is. Are all three of these part of the riddle or just it goes together? One? Okay. Huh. It makes you think that the bell is French. Oh, say that. somebody knows in the green room. We're getting someone who guessed it in the green room chat. But let's guess in the normal YouTube chat. Hell yeah, Joe. You got Joe it. got it. Yeah. Okay, but don't okay. give it away. <laughs> they got it in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. She added it to the chat. Okay, Patty LaBelle. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I will say the fact that Jesse typed in all caps. I think she knew it too. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, the uh, upcoming uh, uh, video with my music on it. Follow me uh, uh, in life. Anyways, uh, that's my inspiring words. At, yes, uh, MJ Albany. MJ Albany. MJ Albany. Okay. Thanks again for doing this, Marissa. This is oh a lot my god, of fun. thank you. Matt is the DJ. Uh, he made all the videos that you'll be seeing, kind of with the names. So, yep. Okay, Should we, you want me to play your video? Yeah, and I'll get out of here. All right, yes. Give it up for Matt, but also for his video. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, brotherhood of man. Imagine all the brotherhood.
Oh my gosh, this is my first cooking DVD. I'm Patty LaBelle, and I'm gonna show you so many things. I mean, so many people have been asking me, when are you gonna do a cooking DVD? And I'll always say, as soon as I can, I'll pick up some gloves, because I'm gonna work this macaroni and cheese with my hands. Oh, she's working. And I don't trust people's hands. I'll pick up some gloves, because I'm gonna work this macaroni and cheese with my hands. Okay. <gasps> That's one cheese. This is another one. I gave you the names. You should remember. <laughs> but again, I'm not seasoning it for myself. I'm seasoning it for you. If you're not diabetic. Okay, thank you. That she added that, right? Okay. Move. Okay. Oh. And I made brisket for Diane Warren uh, maybe three years ago. And Hallie Robinson, Pete, and Sheila E. They came to my, um, my house when I lived in L.A. And I made brisket, fresh fried corn, macaroni and cheese. And they got there and they were starving and the brisket was done. And Holly went in the pan and started eating the brisket like crazy. Diane Warren brisket. is a vegetarian. She never eats meat until she tasted this brisket. That heifer's eating meat now, okay? Now you can use as much cheese as you want. Actually, if I had time, I would cut some more cheese and put it on the top. Oh, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking a big star here. Yeah. That was beautiful. Sing it again. Okay. I want to sing all anyway. You go. Okay. Two, three, go. Stand by oh. your man. Oh, I can do it. And show the world you love him. Keep giving all the love you can. Brought a tear to my eye. Brought a tear to my eye. Okay, amazing. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Matt. Thank Please you. Please clap at home for Matt. Okay, next up, we've got somebody very special. Okay, she, this person literally uh, likes to clean rooms. It's like her like fave thing to do, I guess. And came, she came over and helped me clean my room. So I literally am indebted to her for the rest of my freaking life, okay? Please give it up for Rachel Coster. Okay, let's play. Woo, can video. you hear okay. me? We can hear you, yes. Hello, Rachel. Thank you for Hi, joining us. Hi, How's it going? Hello. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. Yes. I told. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my God. Thank um, you I thought I'd dress up. I need a cracker real quick. Is that cool? Oh yeah. Do you think? I'll just like I'll talk to everybody. Um. Okay. So there's a lot to talk about and not a lot of time to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm gonna take off my gear because it actually hurt my feelings to look at myself like that. Um, can you see me, YouTube? Do I look beautiful? Um, Let's see. I'll go off in the comments. Does she look beautiful? If not, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell. If they say mean stuff, please don't. Okay, yeah, don't be mean. Thank you. Um, okay, so today I accidentally ate a uh, CBD gummy that had melatonin in it. Oh. I just thought it was a regular CBD gummy, but it had melatonin in it. So I took a five-hour nap that I didn't intend to take because I had a full night's sleep and I didn't uh, think of anything high concept, but I will just like do what I did. Okay. I love that. And honestly, that's to me, that's sort of high concept. Okay. Thank okay. you. I'm, I'm sorry to everybody who was expecting maybe more from me because I usually deliver really high concept stuff. Yes. Uh, and you I'm sort of are a modern day philosopher. Yeah. People call me, um, I, the only, <laughs> the only person I could think of was ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get into all right it. and that will show you how cultured okay um foster is thank you the um my mom said is was rachel swimming in the bathtub and then zach uh, says yes you're beautiful no. rachel because it's all my bitches and also marissa's mom 
Yes. Um, I okay. So the kids that I babysit are always like, put one of our jokes in your set. We we make such good jokes, mm -hmm. and they actually do. So I haven't had a chance to do it live yet, but I drew it out. Um, Leo, one of the kids that I babysit, I don't want to dox him, so I won't say his last name, but he's a cutie. Um, he had a joke that oh, went- The fact that you said he's cute, now I know who he is. Chick oh, this sucks! There's only one cute Leo in all yeah. of uh -huh. um, Park Slope. Oh, no, I'm doing even worse. Um, okay. okay, don't- okay. No. Please don't abduct Dogs this kid. Um, okay, uh, so his- the joke is, um, what does a magician fisherman say? Um, then, wait, I'll go into the Google Doc. I'll okay, you're going to put it in the Google Doc? Yeah. I guess. What does a magician we the, fisherman say? We have the people say? guess in the comments. Yeah, why is it going so slow? This is fucked up. Oh my god, what is going on, ladies? It's cool if we can't add anything to the doc. You can, you can text me things to add to the doc. Okay, well, maybe I'll just do that. Here, let's go, Marissa. Okay, we have each other's numbers. Really, yeah, we're actual friends, guys, so everyone can stop talking about that. Are you guys impressed? Great. It's, Remember to subscribe. It okay. Is, okay. Also, I send it to you. Okay, got it. You want me to throw those in? Oh, these yeah. are cute as hell. Well, it's only one. Aww. It's, it uh, so what does a magician fisherman say? Pick a cod, any cod. Ah! <laughs> it also Aww. would probably help if it was from Boston or something. Am I not in the Google Doc? It didn't change. Oh, oh here. Well, oh, wait, it, that's it, on me. It, that's it, my bad. Team okay. Baby Belt. Yeah. Right, everybody. Um, okay, let's get People into- People are loving my baby bell. Oh, thank gosh. Um, <laughs> okay, now it seems like it's working. Um, I will do some pop culture. It looks like somebody got married. Yes, that's right, everybody. Gun Girl got married during the pandemic, and she- Oh, where did it go? This is embarrassing to me. Oh, I put it in Ina's section, maybe. Oh. Shimmy her up. I'll move that up. Oh my god, detective. There we go. Detective. No, honestly, there's charm and technical difficulties. Hey. Everybody's mortified for me. <laughs> Are they? No. All right, well, everyone can see that, right? So, Gun Girl got married even in, through the challenges we faced this week, including having our second wedding canceled. Why were there two? Um, oh, it's in the dock three times now. That's actually gorgeous. <laughs> Five times. Oh no, everybody's so mad at me. I'm getting texts from my uh, mom, and she is so pissed. Oh no, uh, what'd she say? She said, you're fucking it up. You're fucking up our legacy. <laughs> um, kind of mean, but okay, wait, this is another <laughs> thing Gun Girl posted that I missed. Um, <laughs> for Halloween, she was um, offensive just for the fun of it. Um, happy Halloween for one evening only you wear what you want unless it's a poncho, a headdress, or afro or you'll piss someone off. Jack-o-lantern, hee hee, hangover gang. Um, I hope she burns. Okay, let's try. Where did you add that? Um, I put it- Oh, there you go. Got it. Okay. okay, well that's interesting. Um, in no, fact, I'm really I sorry. I just had to share what I learned because- um, knowledge is power, and once we know enough about Gun Girl, we can take her down. Um, okay. <laughs> Should I be posting, like, at the top of the, or after the, yeah, I'll just pop Um, up. no, no, it's good to go, uh, on the lowest point. I made a meme exactly. today, pretty good, and I feel like this quarantine is really just about the, it's just the quarantine of realizing stuff. I did a remix of a classic. Wow. Um, Kylie Jenner is Brilliant. the voice of a generation. Also, I don't know if you've seen, but she has had some really good Insta stories lately um, talking about staying home and cleaning and hanging out with Stormy. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm getting more texts of everyone uh, unfriending me. Oh, no. Um, Here, I'm going to text you that. <laughs> I'm going to say, Rachel, you're killing it. Oh, God. So See, it, it auto-corrected and now it says... I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, um, I wrote did another thing. This is um who you are in Sex in the City based on what day of quarantine you think it is. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's up. Oh, oh wow. Kind of up. That's amazing. You see it? Yeah, we got it. Thank gosh. 
Okay. All right, so days one, if you think it's day one or three, you're a carry, aka you suck and you're really behind and you should have been staying inside for way longer. If you think oh. it's day four to seven, you're in Charlotte, you're in the clear kind of if you're at like the latter end of the seven days, but if you're at the beginning, I still um, am pissed. Um, and also, you're like, um, I think she's stupid. I'll say it. Um, <gasps> it's eight to nine. You're Samantha, honey. You're slaying. You're a bad bitch, and you're hot as fuck. Um, and girls everywhere want to be you. And then days 10 plus, you're Steve, and I have such a big crush on you, and I would meet you in the middle of a bridge. <laughs> Can I just say that there is absolute? I'm so sorry. Can I just say there is absolutely a type of person who thinks that they are a Slytherin and a Samantha, but they are definitely a Hufflepuff and a Charlotte. Dude, absolutely. Everybody right? says so. Yeah, everybody oh. says so pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. They text me that stuff all the time. Um, okay, let's rock. Miranda got sick like three weeks ago and she is fine now, but she does so she doesn't have to quarantine. Also, I just like didn't really want to talk about her, so I didn't <sighs> put her in. Oh, I just deleted it. Sorry, everybody. Um, okay, we're popping in the next thing. I made a pie chart. Um, pretty much the best flavor chart. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to go. Okay, it's it went below. End of section, sorry. Hi, Teresa. Oh, wait, where did that figured go? figured out how to add comments, and I'm I'm very proud. Did you Do you see the pie chart? Thanks in there, too. Our tech guy. Who do I have a crush on? Yeah, we see it. Okay, who do I have a crush on? Um... The who who I should have a crush on small, who you would expect me to have a crush on small, who I actually have a crush on big. So the person that I have a crush on you wouldn't expect, and I shouldn't have a crush. Okay, we're moving oh, on. Oh, so who is it? Was, um, I won't tell. Yeah, thank you. I won't tell you either. <laughs> um. Okay, we're popping in the next. I made another pie chart. And this is things I've never heard of in my life before COVID-19. And it's Zoom. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I love it. And the people see it. So everyone's wondering if Colin's watching. I'm not quite sure if he is. Guys, who's Colin? He's um, actually a comedian. Is what he do you know? <laughs> what about the green twos? Whitley asks, what about the green twos? What does that mean? The green... Tubes? The green tubes. Oh. Oh, the two? The two. That's the, that's the number that I put in um, <laughs> because I, I didn't know how to make this, so I just put in a number, but I didn't put in anything else, so just the whole the whole chart equals two. <laughs> and it, um, <laughs> on, the, on the other chart, ah, ah, you'll see ah, ah. Uh, whom I actually have a crush on is 19. Who I should have a crush on is too. It was just like a ratio thing and not so much an actual um, fact thing. Oh, I'm really mortified. Okay, I'm going to. I think that's brilliant. I think that's brilliant. Thanks, Marissa. That's really nice of you. <laughs> I'm going to pop in. And this is a picture of a dog that I saw when I was quarantine walking. I didn't talk to anybody, I didn't breathe on anybody. So please don't get mad at me um, for. Oh, uh, where is this shiz? I gotta say, someone earlier in the chat said, I love how she's snacking while hosting. Q life. Quarantine. Q life. Okay, so everything, um, I send it to you in text, Marissa. Okay, Maybe cool. In the Google Doc, for some reason, my shit is all glitchy. No worries. Um, but that's the dog that I saw. He's cute as heck. Um, Aww. He started freaking out and got really excited when he saw me because I guess I just have that impact on people because I guess I'm beautiful and um, fun to be around. Okay, uh, wait, I don't, I don't know, well, I'll put this in. Okay, this is another thing that I saw on my walk that shook me to my core and uh, made my blood run cold. Um, this was the Lean In book by, oh, sorry, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Um, the Lean In book by Cheryl Sandberg. Um, somebody got rid of it, which was the right move. Um, Can you tell me about this book? Is it embarrassing that I don't know about it? Oh yeah, it's all about like it's just like a really white feminist book. She like does she her whole thing is like, girls, it's your job in the in the in the <laughs> room to speak up for yourself, and it's like right. doesn't take into account race or class or anything or education. It's just like a really white feminist. I feel like the title, lean in. I get it. Yeah. Um. Okay. We will skip 
to my content about um i was looking at celibacy memes earlier because as everybody should know i don't fuck and i don't plan on ever fucking again makes me yeah. sick to my stomach fucking girl uh, and i think that um instead you should do math so, yeah what did you say instead of fucking do math do math literally mm-hmm. feels so much better and takes a lot more time okay um if you're stupid this is one of the celibacy memes that i made because there's no good celibacy i put three in the chat you got a really power my mom sent something and i know what she means but there's a huge typo she said that reminds me of when i threw a book out of a train i forget i think the train was um i mean the book was what's that like that one book that everyone reads that that is like rich and like trying to reach you their life um seven habits for six highly no, successful she, goes, tra- she travels oh eat pray love eat pray love i think my eat mom pray out, of a train. Pray love out of a train a moving oh, train. oh awesome this yeah you pray love eric and you sorry i'm so, i fully am like jumping in on your you want me to add this okay let's add this both memes um okay so i sent you the celibacy memes so celibacy me fucking obviously had to throw in distracted boyfriend there's the celibacy juice one that I don't know if it's in the chat yet. And then, of course, Mr. Krabs, me, when I find out that people I love are fucking not necessarily each other. I just didn't know how to explain it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, um, me, y- do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so everybody followed along. Uh, Marissa, thank you. So- sorry, did you put up the juice one? Is there a juice one? Yeah, celibacy juice. Oh, I'm so sorry. I- it's my fault. I should have been maybe slower. Let's pop that in there. So, <laughs> Thank you. That looks delicious. Can I add? Yes. Can I add that? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Marissa. I'll see you soon. Oh my God. Like, you everybody. rock. Um, Follow nice. Rachel. Shout out your handle. Um, Rach4 underscore the stars with a Z. Really annoying. Incredible. And Rachel Coster on Instagram. Also, um, donate your money to people in need uh if you can yes i love you thank um, you you rock yay everybody clap at home please um and then we're gonna bring on the next guest so continue to clap at home please yeah. give it up for Hello. What's up? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh my Hi. god, I have the shittiest webcam video so far. <laughs> no, I like it. What makes uh, it shitty in your opinion? Um, it's shitty because it looks like it it looks like it was it's being played on a Nintendo 64. <laughs> well, hey, uh, as a gamer girl, I kind of like that. Yeah, Animal Crossing just came out, so uh, my webcam quality is actually a shout out to Isabel. <laughs> She's my main bitch. Jesus Christ, I so badly want a Nintendo Switch <laughs> just to play that. I wanted to switch in other things. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> hi guys. Uh, before I start, I just want to assert my dominance um, by showing you guys my throat game. Okay. Um, it's so, really legendary. Okay, and a throat game is let's I guess we'll we're about to find out, right? Yes. Um throat game is essentially my throat's abilities. I just want to show you guys briefly what this throat do. What okay, what does this throat do? Okay. I just need a timer. Okay, I got, I got, I got this timer up. We ready? Okay, I'll tell you when to start. Okay. All right, you see this bottle of water here? Uh, In fact, I do, yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you what this throat game does. All right, just open it up. Well, I forgot to tell you to start the time. I know, but I I started it. (laughs) How how many seconds was that? It was like, okay, here's the issue. Okay, oh. I think it was about eight. Seven eight. or eight seconds. Go off oh. and 
how long you think it actually was because I started it a little late and then I stopped it a little late. So we very well could be at eight. Exactly. Okay. All that right. was incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I recently got um, laid off temporarily. Oh no, that sucks. It really sucks. But sucks. I have been looking for some employment opportunities. Okay, well, hire Anna if you can. Everybody. Um, so recently I did get one, um, and that's actually what my bit is going to be about. Um, I'm just going to share with you guys some information from my employers. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to find my section right here. Yeah. All right, so I just wanted to, you know, share with the audience a little information a little psa about climate change okay i've heard of it mm -hmm. but what you've probably heard is the liberal media dribble about climate change you know like marissa i'm asking you for a quick moment okay when you think of climate change what comes to your mind um the ice melting mm -hmm. in the arctic right so usually when most people think of climate change, what are they thinking of? Um, They're thinking, oh, this is bad. Yeah, right. absolutely. It's like totally bad, right? Uh -huh. They're also thinking, oh no, <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is gonna be, well, it's not quite underwater, but it's, you know, the, the sea levels are gonna rise, you know? Yes, yeah. Some people will even say, that oh no, my my grandchildren will never see a polar bear. Oh fuck, yeah. did I put that in the wrong section? Okay, let me. <laughs> good. Actually, yeah, Rachel put it in the wrong section, so. Oh okay. Oh, cute little polar bear. I know, but I'm just here to dispel some myths about climate change being only a negative phenomenon, and I'm here to just share with you all the benefits. Of climate change actually. okay wow um so before Good. i go on i just want to take a moment and thank my sponsors i'm, I'm trying to find my hang on i'm trying to find my footing here i'm i'm before brian fiddleman right okay fiddleman <laughs> sorry i, I like can't that. read <laughs> okay so uh Wait, no, no, let me move here okay mm -hmm. sorry i am not That's cool. Just very... keep going in the section. We can we'll fix it okay. later. Um, so I just want to thank my sponsors real quick. They are also my employers. Okay. Wow. I thought you didn't have an employer. Well, I do now. And these are them. They jointly employed me for this thing. So, oh, okay. <laughs> um, the cops are coming for me. Um, so when most of people think of climate change, they think of those things. Extreme weather you know, the ocean rising and Where's just sponsors, all this sorry. negative stuff. Sorry, can you hear me? I just want to show you, I kind of missed this. The sponsors. Ah, yes. These are sponsors. sponsors. Yeah. Okay, I see. So yeah. now it's sort of similar to coming together. Okay. Those are my sponsors and my employers. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might have heard of um, some of these. Heard of them? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I knew those were your credits, I would have plugged those. BP. Right. TV Exxon? Shell? It's okay. It's okay. It's not the about big the boys. sponsors. What are the big boys? It's not about the sponsors. It's about the message. Yeah. And the message is climate change is not all that bad. For you sure. You see, I just want to point out that there are things worse than climate change. Okay. Like, um, like for example, like, don't say, don't say pandemic. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Keep going. For example, uh, genocide. Okay, that one's bad. Yeah, and it's <laughs> worse than climate change. It's yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard to say. They're both horrible. I know, but uh, I'm pretty sure yeah. climate change is better than genocide. Yeah, we That's can all I, agree to that. On the top, go off in comments which one you like more: <laughs> genocide <laughs> or climate change. <laughs> so which one you stand more? Um, 
So moving on from what is worse than climate change, we have the many benefits. My first benefit I would like to talk to you is more beachfront properties. Uh, this picture loads, sorry. My pictures broke this whole thing. It's the polar <laughs> it's bear, it's too sexy for the dock. Oh, way too sexy for the dock. We see the, we see the beach though. Yes, that's what we wanna see. And it's more great. beachfront properties. So you look at this picture, where do you think it's taken? Aruba. Yeah. Cuba. Rehoboth uh, Beach, uh, Delaware. New York uh, City. Exactly. It looks amazing. This picture is actually taken from, hang on, we have, we have the, the tag next to it. Okay, let me try to find this picture. This picture is actually taken from, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> I'm yeah, having some of the comments real quick. Um, my mom mentioned her do that her dog was howling at your siren. Isn't that cool? Oh my God, that's so cool. Um, someone said, I love Exxon. Climate change equals long-term genocide. Okay, go off. Thanks, Summer. Let's take it all the way and kill everyone. Okay, no. Uh, okay, I see. That's beautiful. Yes. You've updated this, it. This picture was taken in Akron, Ohio. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. And how come, and I, I got to ask, how come it was not in the, the first picture? Um, it wasn't because I wanted to do the reveal. Okay, gorgeous. So I photoshopped it out. Okay, wow, so smart. But this picture is taken in Akron, Ohio, <laughs> post climate change. Okay, so mm -hmm. now. So this is from the future. Oh, from the future, okay. Yes, this Love is what it. Akron, Ohio would look like thanks to climate change. Because I think the, it's more beautiful, I'll say. Exactly, exactly. Say beautiful, absolutely. You know, like New York might be underwater, so mm -hmm. will most of the East Coast, but Akron, Ohio will now finally have a beach, the beach it deserves. That's beautiful. Thank you. And uh, we, are, we are running out of time. Do you have any last words or I any, do. any other things you want to add? Um, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, I just want you to know that the liberal media will lie to you. <laughs> they want you to believe that climate change is the worst, but there are many things worse than climate change. And there's actually some upsides of climate change. Okay. Well, a beautiful message. Beautiful message. Um, Thank you. Shout out your handle. It's a good one. Um, my handle is men's underscore rice underscore activist. I love it. I love Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And you rock. Amazing stuff. Um, and a beautiful message. Thank you Thank so you. much for you. joining us. Bye. All right, bye okay. Guys. Sure. Um, guys, let's look at some of the comments real quick. Let's take this time. Uh, Bruce Jenner side. That's funny. Hang 10 LeBron, Akron, Ohio. Shout out Akron, Ohio, not being serious. Dislike Akron, Ohio. That was dot, 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 rough. Okay. Teresa, the Akron Zips beat the Kansas State Wildcats at football, and I was there. It was the early 90s. It really stuck with me. Thank you for sharing your story. Wow. Okay, guys. Um, we spoke about getting lost in the internet earlier, and I'll just say that I really hope that it... Uh, does not happen again anytime soon. <laughs> uh, um, and on that note, I am going to look for my shoe. <laughs> oh my God. Well, look where I found myself. Now I'm in an email. I never thought this would happen. Um, <laughs> You, you know, you live your whole life and you think, you know, maybe I'll end up in Italy. Maybe I'll end up in, I don't know, South America. But you never think I'm going to be stuck in a work email. You know, you never think these things. And here we are. So, subscribe, like. Wow. Uh, that was 
I got I got lost and I didn't find my shoe. So that's fun. Uh, that's sort of a fun little thing for me to share. Um, and hey, shout out if you uh, if you are not of the team to uh, get lost in an email because that that sucked for sure. Okay, and I'm gonna take this time real quick to ask you everybody, I and I know this is like embarrassing, but please do subscribe because if we get a certain amount of subscribers, um, we can start monetizing and really paying our performers. But for now, I've got my Venmo in the description, Marissa Dash Goldman. Okay, I got really vulnerable and sincere, sincere for a second. So um, thank you to everyone who's Venmoed already. I'm gonna split the money with, with all the performers. Um, Yay! Okay, money. But for now, for now, we've got another performer. Okay, please give it up for somebody very funny, very cool, Brian Fiddleman, not Fiddleman. Respects my beliefs. Super friend to every key. Respects my beliefs. My new friends are real. Hey, oh, you look great. New Thank hair. you very much. It is I, Brian Fittyman, and during quarantine, I've discovered so much about myself that I never knew before and discovered powers within myself that I never thought possible. And, That's really and, cool. one, and one of these has become the power of the riddle. That's and so... I, that's so hip. Thank you. And I would like to offer a large sum of my parents' money to the person in the chat who can guess the most of them correctly. Okay. Okay. So are we ready for our first riddle? I'm going to put it in the dock. Okay, I'm ready. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. okay. Beautiful font. Hello! I am the dirtiest item in your home. Yet you have never washed me. I, even still, you wear me every day, even to bed, and you'll even eat off of me. What am I? <laughs> okay, it's a little bit of a lag for the... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll wait right. for them to catch up. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll take a couple of guesses before I move Someone on. Someone said Brian giving those e-girl vibes. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, uh, well, do you have any guesses, Marissa? Okay, um... Maybe, um... Time's up! Un uh, oh, okay. You have one? I'll let you get one. <laughs> Un underwear? No. Uh, <laughs> you know that, you know that I'm eating... You know what? I, I, eat a little, I have a weird diet. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> you have to watch your draws. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay, wait. People have some guesses. Oh, we have some guesses. A lot of guesses. I, uh, I, do you want me to read them out, or do you want to read them? Mouth, your body. Everyone's wrong. Sorry, not this time. The answer is, I am your jacket, or I am your bracelet. I would have accepted, I am your bracelet as well. <laughs> All right. Here's the riddle number two from the Riddle Master. Underneath the polar bear. Oh, sorry. The polar bear is insane. The, the polar, polar bear is all over. How old am I? I'm old enough to vote, but I'm still a little baby. I haven't learned how to talk yet. However, I have gray hair and glasses. How old am I? Um, Any guesses? Are you talking about the orange Cheeto? No. 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 I know. Oh, Someone gets in the chat. Oh. I'll check the chat. Boomers. Ah, ha, ha. Boomer Someone's at 99, 25. Boomers. Okay, well, better luck next time. A bunch of incorrect guesses. <laughs> the answer is, I'm 27 years old. And I was just, I was just kidding about being a baby. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, next riddle. Next riddle. I do not I live on that. Earth. Yeah, I however, I breathe air. In space. I breathe the air out in space like regular air in Earth. 
Where do I live? Okay. Any guess? This Marissa? one's tricky. This one's tricky. I know you were. I know you were plugging your Venmo handle from all these poor strangers. <laughs> you could use a, a bit of my parents' money, it seems. Any okay, guess? Um, I for sure could use that. So, not live in breathe air in space. Um, an astronaut? Oh, the moon? The oh, the International Space Station? Because I'm a little bit into sci-fi. No, no, and everyone in the chat's wrong too. Okay. It's a. I was. I'm just kidding. Again, I live in. I live in Iraq. Oh boy, that was. I never would have guessed that. You do. You well, do. that's why I'm the master. He. <laughs> okay. You this are. Next one. This next one's an easy one. What's sexier, when a man moans in bed, or when a man moans while he's just sitting and wearing a watch? Um. This is tricky for me, I'm, I have to say. Yeah. Because, you know, one of them is, like, obvious, and one of them's like, are you going to be sexy right now? And then it's like, if you are, it's like, that was cool. Well, I hate, I hate to actually, I hate to say it, but this, this one's a bit of a trick. This one's actually just an honest question for me, because my girlfriend, she makes, she, I, I've been, I'm trying to settle an argument with her, because she makes me sit down in a leather chair and wear a watch and, and lightly moan for about 30 minutes at a time. And I'm telling her, I'm telling her, girls don't like that. Why are you making me do this? It's, it's completely absurd. So I just, do we have anyone in the, in the chat? In bed, see, but, and both at the same time. That would make more sense, but she, I'm not allowed to move. Or I, I'm only allowed to squirm. Oh, wow. so, anyway, on to the next riddle. All right, let's see that next riddle. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to... How much money is in the following picture? Don't let the pattern distract you. Okay. And hold on, I'm pulling up the picture now. This sounds scary. Oh, no, it's not uh, pasted. Oh, no. It's okay. Hey, let's shout out some comment comments. Shout We're still, comments. Okay, you got G GF in Iraq, Grandpa's belly button. I wonder what that's about. Grandpa's belly. Yeah, uh, yes, I have a girlfriend in Iraq. Uh, we moved here together for work. Um, okay, I'm gonna move on from this one because this okay. one, this one, we're running into technical difficulties okay. here. But I got plenty more where that came from because I am the master. Okay. You are the master. I think. I mean, maybe not. Excuse, uh, well, that's not. That's well, not. I mean, for, we'll kind of see where it goes from here. That's not up for debate. I am the master, actually. Okay. Um, and and I'm respecting you and your show, and I hope you respect me as a performer and acknowledge me as well, a master. Okay. Well, that's okay. Fair. Well, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Well, that's fine. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I can say that too. A little girl is upset in the hot sun. She <laughs> says, "I wish it would just rain." And then the rain comes, and she stares out her window. She says, "This isn't how I pictured it at all. Why does this happen?" Huh. <laughs> Let's see who what they say in the comments. I, I'll t I'll t uh, and and I'll, I'll admit this one is just um this one I just wrote in my journal too. This one I uh this one doesn't have an answer. Uh, but I just do want everyone to say vote Democrat. <laughs> what we can do is vote Democrat. 2020. Okay, that's noble, a noble cause. Uh, okay. Are you ready for my next riddle? Yeah, I, I absolutely am. Okay. This one, I'm a kind of bug. I have antennae and I work with my friends to serve a queen. I am yellow, but I am also black. What am I? I'm a bee. I, I said it before okay. you, so you didn't get it right. No one got it right. That's not... That's, you got it right. I said it, everyone. That's not a riddle. I, I said silly. it. I, no, I said it before you, so I got it right. Sorry, you can't Brian. Brian. Uh, Mr. Riddle Master. Um, you calling yourself the Riddle Master, but I actually think these riddles are fucking stupid. Okay? But no! Hey, come on, come out! I'm, I'm sorry, and I don't think anyone else deserves the prize, but, yep, you guessed it, me, Marissa. I deserve the prize. Okay. Do you think you really deserve the prize? Yeah, that's a prize. 
All right. You said it was money, right? Here it is. I, I want to help everybody out during the coronavirus, and so I am going to deliver this to okay. your house as as uh -huh. a as a little bit of relief. And actually, okay. prize was a riddle because I it was a riddle because large sum of my parents' money. If you spell the first word of every part of that phrase, spells out gun. So that was a riddle, and you failed that one. Did not guess that there, Brian. I I got. Thanks so much, but I, I I'm not interested in your. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring this to your house because I don't want it. This is uh, no, thank you. Uh, this please, is loaded, I don't want uh, this. In please my get house. out of here. Okay, bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bye. <sighs> well, guys, um, did not see that one coming. Uh, go off in the comments if you are <laughs> anti-gun because uh, we're we're anti-climate change here and we're also anti-gun. It's kind of confusing, but yeah, it works. Um. Thanks everybody for the Venmos. Keep them, keep sending them. You know what I'm saying? Keep sending Venmos for fun. Marissa Dash Goldman. You know what I'm saying? That's it's fun to sort of fun to send Venmos. Um, but now we're gonna go to the next performer. You love her. You know her. She is very cool. Okay, she does sh art shows with comedy at them. So please give it up for Joe Rosenthal. And I have to shout out Devin Gwynn for doing the beatboxing. He's amazing doing these beatboxing. Devin Gwynn shouting them out. Okay, Joe, hello. Hello. Yep, you're you're on. Me? Do I look okay? I am wearing. I want to shout out my outfit first. My grandpa's tie, a blazer, and just underwear. Okay. Um. Sorry, that's uh, crazy. Welcome in advance. I want to start off by sharing my, f by asserting my dominance, by sharing my favorite picture on the internet. Okay, let's see it. And then um, I, I had to edit it because it's a little sad. So here is my favorite picture. <laughs> I think it's still loading. Can you see it? Oh my god, this fucking bear. This <laughs> oh, here it is. Sorry you see it oh yes how did he get like that he got like that because he's beautiful and then i okay, so the picture makes me um a little upset because obviously he looks like that but you know what um so i decided to with my friend will's help make him more beautiful okay let's see rid of one of these polar bears actually let's <laughs> keep it it's kind of cute right Keep the sexy picture. polar bear. Well, imagine I show a, a sexy polar bear picture. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there he is. Yes. Okay, you brightened him up. Smiling. Now we need to look at both of them. Show the first one and then show the second one. Okay, wait. <laughs> he, yes. I'm deleting. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, I see what's happening. People are adding it into the header. So it's, it is fun for us to sort of see the idiosyncrasies of a Google Doc, right? I'll say. Okay. Um, let's move this here. Go off if you love seeing sort of how the Google Doc works. And by that, I mean seeing the mistakes so you, we're making. So I just, I, I I'm going to sort of scroll back and forth. Does that work? Please scroll back and forth. There, there she, Miss America. <laughs> she, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. So I want to start, um, I'm just going to say that I found something really great in my sketchbook today. In an yeah. old sketchbook, here it is. Yes. Uh, and the good thing about this is that everybody at home, um, if, it, if I'm not funny, I can't hear you and it won't hurt my self <laughs> <laughs> But if I am funny, you'll laugh and I still won't be able to hear you. So that also won't do anything for myself. <laughs> Someone said, uh, I love Google Docs, all caps, and hey, they hey. love you back. Um, okay, so here's what my sketchbook says. It says, on the last day of sixth grade, I wore my brother's retainer to school. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should just say the story. Okay, so I don't know about you where you went to elementary school, but like any kid who had like braces and then got a retainer was like really, really cool. 
<laughs> yeah, I do remember that. I used to want, I want, I wanted braces. Yeah, like, every, like, and I didn't have braces. My brother had braces, so um, obviously he got a retainer after. And since my brother was uh, in ninth grade <laughs> and I was in sixth grade, um, he was like out all the time doing whatever shit he was doing, and he like never wore his retainer because I guess like if you actually wore a retainer, it was like pretty nerdy. So the last day of sixth grade, like, I was like, all right, we're going into seventh grade. I'm an adult now. Everyone's going to think I'm really cool if I wear a retainer. And mm -hmm. so <laughs> I <laughs> went into his bathroom and took his retainer out, washed it off. Um, <laughs> Nadia I says, yes, I also want to raise this. Love you, Nadia. <laughs> Sorry. She's great. And so I... Um, after my mom dropped me off at school, because I didn't want her to notice and be mad at me, <laughs> I put my my brother's retainer, I wedged it in my mouth. <laughs> it didn't fit. It was, it hurt. <laughs> Sounds like your brother's got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was sitting in science class, and I, I was, like, like, smiling and flipping my hair and, like, um, <laughs> like thinking I was so cool and somebody was like oh my god are you wearing a retainer and I was like I just got it <laughs> like that's the coolest thing I've ever seen <laughs> and I and that's pretty much that story I feel like I've been holding that in and now I get to, to share it <laughs> oh my god I love that speaking of brothers and, re and retainers my brother wrote I got lectured by a dentist recently for not wearing my retainer and I'm 30 what do you think of that I am not 30, so I can't relate. <laughs> Absolutely. It's tough not being 30. Yeah, I know. And it's like you're either 30 or you're not 30, and everyone who's 30 is, like, so 30 years old. It's like being 19. Yeah. When you're 19, Absolutely. you're, like, almost 19, and when you're 30, you're like, I'm 30. Like, just calm down. Right. Um, so other things I wanted to share from my sketchbooks um, are this really great note that said, Ever since I was young, I don't know when I wrote this, but it says, ever since I was young, I thought I'd know when I really liked someone if I wanted to eat kid cuisine with them. <gasps> I never ate kid cuisine. Um, out. Kid cuisine is what happens when you have divorced parents. Oh, well, hey, guess, I guess I had love in my home. And <laughs> that's, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's sincere. Okay. And here's another thing. So apparently... Um, I guess like five or six years ago, I wrote myself uh, an obituary, but it's not <laughs> working. It's if I live to be the oldest person ever. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I would love to hear this. It says, she lived a good long life, living to be the oldest woman on the planet at the age of 400, living way past the oldest man who was 100 something. He literally would not die, people said. Like, we thought she would only live to be 100-something, but she stayed around for 300 more years. Looking like some form of drying out asparagus, she'd wake up every single day, smile, and just live. Having kids, and then grandkids, and then great-grandkids, and then great-great-grandkids, and so on, until she had many grandkids. You could practically fill up <laughs> with them. <laughs> she knew like when rats have babies? What? Oh, like rat 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 yeah. Yeah. But I have a feeling like if I ever have a baby, it would basically be like a rat baby. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, well, that's kind of that's kind of nice, isn't it? That I'll tell you rat men out there hit up my DM. Um, and rat rat people in general, you know, <laughs> she knew all of their names and loved them all the same. And her favorite <laughs> part was being able to watch them all grow up. That's probably what kept this asparagus-looking woman alive for so long. Yeah. And when I look at things like this, <laughs> it gives me a little bit of hope that I will live to be really old, um, and it will be a really painful but also really loving process, and I guess I will look fabulous and smell like pee. <laughs> oh, my God. And so I wanted to... Plug something. I loved you sharing that. That was great. I want to plug something that my dad sent me in the mail. Okay. Underwear with my face on them. Wait, what is that? It's, it's underwear? 
with my face on them. That's incredible. My dad sent these to me. Okay, first of all, I got these in the mail and I was like, oh my God, my stalker sent them to yeah. me. But I'm really glad that that person doesn't know where I live. So when I called my, I was like, dad, did you send these to me in the mail? Because yeah. my dad loves to send me, bless you. Um, really good. A cough. Sorry. <laughs> I okay. like doing the. Yeah, I did that even I'm, though I'm alone because I care, you know? Yeah. yeah I did. <laughs> Um, so my dad was like, I sent these to you in the mail, but it was supposed to be a picture of the two of us next to each other, but it, they, it got cropped and now it's just me. <laughs> that's, that's like, that's interesting for your dad wanting to be on your underwear, I will say. <laughs> Shout out to my dad. I hope he's watching. He got a kidney stone removed yesterday. Oh, I hope he's okay. Yeah. You know, the cool thing about it is that I, will say, I hope they put the stone back, you know? Yeah. That sucks to be missing that. <laughs> I get it back. Supposedly, he said he was making like necklaces for all of his children. <laughs> Out of the stones. Oh, that's great. That seems like it makes sense because, like, considering that he wants to be on your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is really, really fun. He has a really good hat collection. My dad's um, cool too. Shout out to my dad. Shout okay. Out to dads, if shout you're out to dads in general, that's not cool. Fuck them. Right. Um, he, so I want to say like two more jokes and then I want okay. to share the video. Um, well, we've got, we got about a minute left. I'll be honest. Just share the video. Share the video. Okay. Let's do the video. Preface. Whoops. It's not that. Um, this is something that really. How much of it can, is okay if we play only a little bit of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, okay. I think maybe playing more towards the end would be really good. Um, okay. Basically, this is an illustrated talk with Maurice Sondak about how appreciative he was to live his life and how there's so many beautiful things to look at. And I wanted to share it with everybody because when we're feeling really stressed out and uncertain of the future, it's nice to oh look my at God. how really incredible people dealt with their lives. And oh thank my you again. God. I am Sincerity. So oh my God, I'm so excited to watch this. I will say. Play a little more. I'm so. Okay. I'll play it. Grateful to be here. Oh my god, well, I'm, Joe. I'm really glad we got it. audio is cutting in and out. You say that last thing again. I'm really, really grateful to be here and to be with you because any form Thank that we can you. be with and maintain a relationship uh, means a lot to me. Yes. Okay. Thank you for bringing in the the heartfelt stuff. You know, we've got everything on this show. All right, we ready to play? Yeah. Maybe play. The chance to sp Sorry. Or what? Start at like three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. And you can, you'll get the oh, yeah, And they look at me as somebody who knows everything. Oh, poor kids. Oh God, there are so many beautiful things in the world which I will have to leave when I die. But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Well, you listen, know, I yeah. have to tell you something. Go ahead. You are the only person I have ever dealt with in terms of being interviewed or talking to who brings this out in me. There is something very unique and special in you, which I so trust. When I heard that you were going to interview me, I thought you wanted to. I was really, really pleased. Well, I'm really glad we got the chance to speak, because when I heard you had a book coming out, I thought... What a good excuse <laughs> <laughs> well, to call up Maurice Sendak and have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we always do, isn't it? Yeah, that's it is. That's what we've always done. It is. Thank God we're still around to do it. Yes. And I'm almost certainly I'll go before you go. <laughs> no. So I won't have to miss you. Oh, God, what a... S <laughs> and, <laughs> and I don't know whether I'll do another book or not. I might. It doesn't matter. I'm a happy old man. But I will cry my way all the way to the grave. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you have a new book. I'm really glad we had a chance to talk. I am too. And I wish you all good things. I wish you all good things. Live your life, live your life, live your life. person doing tech mike says his friend wrote a song about this interview wow pretty cool right thank you so much again much love 
Thank you. Bye, Joe. Thank you for being here. Oh boy. Wow. Did you love that or did you love it? You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and I gotta say, um, in the chat, as we as we said earlier, that uh, you only get uh, main cuisine if your parents are divorced. My brother has informed me that I actually got lean cuisine. And he said it was the penguin shaped chicken nuggets. And my mom says the penguin shaped chicken nuggets, question mark. So what's going on? Did we get lean cuisine? Were the penguin shaped nuggets in my childhood? Are my parents together? What like go off in the comments? <laughs> All right, but for now we're gonna bring, oh yeah, I also, I'm just gonna keep plugging this shit. I'm sorry, uh, but this is, this is up art and stuff. Uh, support the arts. Venmo, Marissa Dash Goldman, anything is good, 10 cents, whatever, you know? Thank you so much to everybody else uh, who did, who already sent stuff, uh, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, what? Okay, she's a bitch. Whoops. All right. Please give it up for your next performer. He's very cool. He writes for a big show. Have you heard of Late Night? Um, okay, this one has um, Jimmy Fallon, I believe, and I'm so embarrassed if I got that wrong. Please give it up for Dan, Dan Chamberlain. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. My audio? Oh, there we go. Now it's there. We go. Now you have the audio. Wonderful. You have the audio. How Good are evening. You? How are you? Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. What a what an Sun incredible night. Inside. That's an interesting. Thank you, everyone, for joining uh, tonight. Um, well, I don't I don't appear on uh, camera very much, so I like to obfuscate my um, my face when I can. Um, and Marissa, thank you for creating a, a space tonight for all the free thinkers in the world. You know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. For all all the free. And I hear you are one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been, uh, you know, <laughs> there's not a lot of truth tellers these days. And no. uh, I think, uh, well, things, uh, things have been a little crazy lately. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you, uh, Yeah. I don't know if you noticed things are pretty I'm wild sure. out there. Uh, so I've been, uh, well, I've been doing some research. And, uh, I think I've uncovered something uh, quite big. You know, it was so exciting to hear you talking about Super Supreme Health 2.0 because oh, yeah. that's that's just the sort of thing uh, we need to have uh, happen again in this country. Yeah, isn't that good stuff? We need that's to have uh, we need to have people embrace uh, Super Supreme Health 2.0. I've been uh, well. I've, I've stumbled cr across something in my research and I've compiled some evidence mm -hmm. um, uh, that I'd like to share with everyone tonight. Um, All right. Wow. All right. It's nice uh, of you. my research on, uh, on something called, called government corn, uh, or as I call it, gov corn. Government uh, corn? Gov corn, yes. Okay. Um, are you familiar uh, with government corn, Marissa? I've not heard about it. Well, the truth is about to get exposed here. Yeah, I see. This is finally. You know? All right. So you're going to want to stay away from government corn. Uh, okay. It's uh, USDA corn linked to, but not excluded from stomach burn, flatulence, loose stools, uh, intolerance, feeling of vomiting, corns, scratchy skin, tendency to bruise easily, <laughs> super puberty, uh, bleeding from nose and walls. Uh, tingling and numbness in hands and feet, bad smells, you're starting to stink all day, anger, anxiety, depression, irritation, depression, flatulence, again, losing hair, memory loss, and osteoporosis, the uh, famous no-bone syndrome. Wow. Uh, and this, you know, this thing goes, this thing goes back a long ways here. Um, you know, the uh, you know, how did the pharaohs build, the, they built the pyramids with government corn. Um, if you if you tr look at the side effects, the side effects of government corn, oh, they wear wow. the worker resolve down. Makes you, polar bear is everywhere. Okay. Makes you susceptible to brainwashing. I know, we're all haunted by the sexy bear. Okay, so now the the 
we're at the side effects great <laughs> this is this is gorgeous art i'll say thank you i i mean i i pulled a lot of research on this one it was yeah. hard to track down uh you know rare rare documents of truth such as this low test scores asthma acne birth defects the skeets foul smell loss of appetite loss of religion bad grades tooth problem walrus foot interest in the occult and they're trying to you know that's what I, i'm most worried about the next generation you know i'm most yeah. worried about the next generation here um you know because hey let's let's uh you know let's think of when we were kids huh here's a little food yeah. for thought uh-huh here's a little food for thought We'll move down to the next uh, next graphic called Food for Thought. Hmm. Still loading. Oh, wait, is it? Sorry. Ooh, baby. No, no, yeah. we got it. There you go. No problem at all. I uh, the, the lag is probably because I'm running my network through seven daisy-chained VPNs. <laughs> I'm running my network oh. through seven daisy chain VPN. So that sounds uh, so no one uh, no one can track. You know, I will not. I'm not. I won't be tracked. That. But let's think about when we were kids. You know, the doctors of Advanced Learning Institute first reported symptoms of corn thoughts in 1992. What has happened since? Bill McDonald's Clinton elected to presidency. FDA urges stops the use of silicone gel breast implants. Hmm. A generation lost and adrift. McDonald's opens first McDonald's in Beijing, China. Janet Jackson breast at Super Bowl. That was big. Innumerable births of how many are corn drones, there is no telling. All right. So, you know, when I think of, when I think of the children of tomorrow, I think they're, if you scroll to the bottom, you see it says uh, corn, corn under a bad sign. I think they're, uh, I think the children of tomorrow. Are where, corn is, where can we find this? Directly below the prior image. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's just we're, we're getting that lag because of those daisy chain uh, VP. I, I, you have to protect your data. You have to yeah, pr you have protect to. your information. And I'm protecting you. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. I'm protecting all of us. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's all right, because corn, corn babies, <laughs> if you keep rolling down, you know, this is what the corn under a bad sign. Corn babies are real. Yeah, GMO corn is going to make you GMO kids. Corn baby problems include sleeps often, stretch hands, oh. bifurcated navel, anger episodes, both kinds, toddler onset Alzheimer's, musical talent, baby needs attention. That's attention surplus disorder. Mm. Staring episodes, cab forward design, breadlocks, and infantilism. This is our, this is the, these are our children we're talking about. Yeah, wow. And, you know, they get them, uh, they get them, they get them in the culture. You, if you, you check out this next doc I got, you know, you, you think of Top 40 Radio Pop Music, Rick D's, you know, you're, uh... all right. Pop music is a major tool of the GovCorn agenda, all right? 77%, 78%, excuse me. 78% of all pop songs are secretly about government corn. Beats of pop music are scientifically designed to make you want to dance. Dancing makes you hungry, hungry for what else? Gov corn. Gov corn music can lead to gluten, illegal downloading, husk lust, ear problems, smart mouth, bad language use of, you know, yeah, 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 you know, what? because what do they call a hip hop song? They call it an earworm. Ear, what else is an ear? <laughs> what else? What, is, what would be the famous government vegetable? Uh, moving on. All right, let's scroll on down. <laughs> okay. So, you know, this is science at play is the problem. GovCorn is PsyCorn, yeah. and no matter how you vote, the democracy lives. The science is the sickness, and hormones are number one cause of thought blisters. The MAMPS once outlawed back again. Hepatitis X, Laura's syndrome, slacks, tuberculosis, <laughs> ventr <laughs> ventriculonimbus, oh Doria, premature father, cloud, tripolar depression, Indian sunburn, Crispix 1, 2, and 7. 
We're talking hat failure, diabetes, nipheria, meoningitis, no valves, more assertive, bold man syndrome, and the thumbs. These are so informative. Do we have do we have any questions coming in? I, you know, uh, this I uh, this was a lot of research. Yeah, this is you know, incredible information that you're giving us. Thank you so much. And you know, ask questions in the comments, you guys. We need please, some questions. Please, let's keep moving. I, I you know, I I've been I spent upward I spent 3 days researching uh uh researching the govcorn phenomena. Uh <laughs> I'm scared of, of Doria and diabetes oh. and Laura's syndrome. But more than ever before, don't you see it? Don't you see it? More than ever before. More than ever before. Someone said, we are trash. People says, I'm glad my eyes have been opened. Wow. Wow. And thank you for your hero heroism, Dan. What about um, questions? Do we have any questions? Happy to keep dropping knowledge. You know... Look right here. I don't know if we can look here in the video. I this is a good old fashioned glass of American drinking urine, and studies have shown that there is more fecal matter in uh, today's drinking urine than ever before. <laughs> my brother says he can never go back to how he was. You've changed, my brother. That's what we're about? We're 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 changing minds and changing hearts tonight. The Psy men are coming. First stop, your dinner table. Science has direct links to the destruction of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Baseball drug. All cancer. A antenna, you know, they do the free antenna, but now where is the antenna? Now it's all cable. It's big bucks, folks. That's science. Mm -hmm. Record big foods. <laughs> Gov lies. We're talking senators, divorce, etc. Now science in the child's classroom. Oopsies. You lend them in here, folks. Wow. What will wow. they take next? I'm really my eyes. And so you know, we, we keep circling stink. Let's uh let's address the uh the bad smell in the room, huh? You're starting to sweat, folks, corn sweat from from corn to body, a worst <laughs> smell <laughs> is released through the skin. Cause of acne. And I'm not and laughing at this, it's very serious to me. Good. I mean so it's, I'm laughing at how I used to think. It's your, yeah, I know, you break through to the other side. Mm -hmm. People mistake you for rotten food. Speed stick failure. So oily makes everyone leave. Just like, what else? A buttered cob. <laughs> Biology changes the corn, the corn changes the man. Wow. Wow. I didn't know that one about the sort of the corn biology changing things. These are strange days indeed oh we have it's so important for the poets and free thinkers to stand up yes oh here we go um we've got a question is fallon a tool of govcorn from harris no Harrison. no 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 does uh do, 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 had a had a non-dairy uh had a non-dairy ben and jerry absolutely that makes sense to me non-dairy ben and jerry Wow. This one, I, I okay, I'll admit, I made this one for fun myself. I made this next one just for just for laughs myself. I can make it a little smaller here. I was just making a fun little movie poster. Uh, Home on the Strange. Oh. You know, we got to start with the farmers. Look at this guy down here. Here's my oh, fun little movie yeah, poster I, I made. You. Wow, that is absolutely kind so of... So we got the fella on the left here. He says, I made drugs for the corn, and I eat corn too. And then his, you know, muscular mirror version says, no, why? And you see the tagline of the film is, he made humans the guinea pigs and sold out a nation's future to line the pockets of him and his gov friends while millions had their biology irreparably changed and never asked questions. <laughs> Wow. Coming. It's called the Naughty the Coming To. So I mean it's already here. Mm -hmm. It's already in theaters now. I probably probably put it on demand. Probably just gonna probably just gonna put it right on right, right on demand. <laughs> wow, Dan, this has been so eye opening. Um we've got time for a couple questions. Is that cool? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Real quick, um let's choose two of them. Do you see the chat or do you want me to read them out? 
Are you? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. I oh the YouTube chat. Yeah. Do you want to choose? Yeah. Let me hop in there. Let me hop in there. Uh, or actually, one question. Sorry. Oh. I'm limiting. Uh, uh, how do I get count corn out of my life? The clearest way to get corn out of your life is to first off reduce water intake. Um, you want to uh, uh, basically just sort of keep cycling your own, uh, your own. Your you know you 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 sort of close the loop. Of, of fluids and substances coming in and out of your body. And, you know, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you d don't break the snake, you know, just keep it, uh, uh, it. It's about not letting new things enter your body ever. Uh, okay. Don't try new foods. Don't try, uh, uh, don't try new drinks. Don't ever, don't try a new restaurant. Uh, um, uh, it's, it's going to be upset. Well, it's going to be distressing. So, uh, uh, so, uh, so, so to all the, the free thinkers out there, uh, keep, keep, keep seeking truth, I guess I would say. And, uh, uh, wow. I, yeah, I think that's doable. That, that one, that one comes from the heart. Thank you so much. We are, we're, we're out of time here, Dan. I so appreciate you informing us and enlightening, enlightening us. I didn't know about this. Do you have any last words? Um, gosh, uh, wash the hands. Do not purchase government corn. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, gosh. Uh, I think just uh, keep, keep seeking, seeking truth, you guys. Wow. Thank you so much. This is all good stuff to know. Dan, all right. Gorgeous candle. Thank you so much for teaching us everything we need to know. Bye. Peace out. All right. All right, you guys. Are we having fun or what? Um, let's shout out that Venmo one more time. Marissa, da Marish, Marisha, Marissa Dash Goldman. Okay. Um, well, remember those times I got lost in the internet? That sucked. Um, and I'm sure hoping that it doesn't happen again. So um, it would feel great if it didn't happen again, ever again. On that note, I'm going to go look for my hat. All right, um, I'll see you in a bit, in a little bit. Oh no, looks like I'm stuck inside. Oh, the, the, oh no, well, bummer. I got, I got stuck inside a zoo website. Silly me. Yeah, I think I'm walking around and then you take one wrong turn. Now I'm here in the zoo website and it's not even for the town that I live in. In fact, it's not a place I've ever lived. So, <sighs> bummer. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you. Oh, but, uh, okay. I didn't see. I didn't see that coming. Uh, did not see that coming uh, at all. Uh, so I'm gonna have to decompress for a bit. But for right now, I'm going to welcome um, the next guests. They are very funny. You've seen them on Twitter. They've gone viral. Okay, um, and that's the good kind of viral. So please give it up for Jeremy and and where's their video? Rajat. Okay. Everybody clap at home, please. Devin Gwynn on that beatbox track. Okay. All right. What's up? How's it going? Well, what's up, YouTube? Oh. Jeremy. Hi, Rajat. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, how how's YouTube doing? YouTube's probably okay. Um, so I don't know. Jeremy and I are Twitter guys. Yeah. I wanted to start um, off by saying we we make our, videos on Twitter from our Twitter videos, and uh, you know, there's this pandemic going on. Yeah in a really great time for a lot of content creators. Mm-hmm. Lots of people going viral. Uh, comedians, funny, funny comedians going viral. Totally. Yeah, it's 
really great to see everyone going viral. Uh, I no, go ahead. I'm definitely happy for them. Um, yeah, it's awesome. A lot of people have noticed that we haven't gone viral during the pandemic. No, no, we have pretty standard, pretty straight line, flatten the curve on our likes and stuff. Unfortunately. Um, so, but like, the thing is... Really the full picture, right? Yeah. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is a lot of the viral videos that you have seen and liked so much uh, are actually directed by us. Yeah, we wrote and directed a lot of the viral videos uh, from the comedians that you find funny. That's right. Um, uh, so some of those likes and retweets are ours. Um, not we're not like not that we care. Care about the numbers. We don't care about the numbers at all. Like but we are cool with whatever. Technically, long, you have about three million more views on our videos than it looks like. Definitely, definitely. So why don't we play that first video? Yeah. Um, just to like, we're gonna get some director's commentary over it. We made this video. Um, yeah, we made this. This was Rachel Sennett. Rachel Sennett, I think, was the actress in the video. I she, think she was. Yeah. Yeah. So she did a really good job with the script. Great um, job. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. A lot of these likes, I would say, even are hers. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, but yeah, it was. This is one of those uh, films that um, there were so many different drafts. Of, there was. It passed through a lot of hands, mm -hmm. and I think uh, who was it passed through a, like a bunch of hands. Yep. We had a lot of different edits on it. I think. Yeah. There was a really pivotal one, though. Phoebe Waller, Phoebe Waller Bridge. Bridge. Yeah, Phoebe Waller Bridge. It was from Did Fleabag. It... it was her idea, right, um, for Rachel to face the camera. Right, right. That's true. Like front facing, rather than because like, she was like, it was like uh, that. Jeremy's doing it right now. That's what Rachel was doing in the first like fifty drafts of the script. And then Phoebe Waller Bridge came along, and, and if you turn towards the computer, around. that's when sort of the resonance. Exactly, exactly, yeah. yeah. So that and was we we love that note. We thought that note was great. Uh, oh, and we I ran with it. Totally. Yeah. Was, and she's, uh, you know, she's going places, and totally. Um, yeah, I'm she's great in our corner. Absolutely, yeah. So why don't we why don't we go to the next video that we directed? We directed this one. Um, shout out to Rachel again. Yeah, this one's Connor O'Malley, actor. Oh yeah, Connor, yeah. The actor that we casted for this one. It's Connor. Yeah, and so let's see, six hundred thousand views. About that's yeah, most of, of them are ours. Uh, most of them are ours. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, I don't care, but. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's as long as it's the art, the art matters. It's fine, yeah. whoever it is. Um, this was a very popular video, Connor O'Malley, going around right. Wall Street, um, sort of right. with people. Um, yeah. In I, the first edit, we actually working with Connor. We wanted, like, he was insistent on it being Wall Street and yeah, like making like, fun it's of Wall like Street. up if like I'm messing around with like powerful people, right? Um, and we didn't really understand that. What was no. to set it initially? We wanted to set it, uh, we wanted Connor to make fun of some lower income people. Yeah. Like, going around, like, like, like Flatbush. Yeah, and it, like I wanted him outside of a daycare center. Right, A bunch of right. fathers were picking up their children during the coronavirus outbreak. That's right. Yeah, we wanted Connor to fuck with those guys, but Connor was a little, like, he was hesitant to do that. He's and, honest, and if I could just be, he's difficult to work with. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to speak any ill will, but Connor was like, we didn't, like, I don't know, we, he was hard to work with. It wasn't like, yeah, definitely wasn't easy. Go to the he next. Had one. a lot of specific views that I don't know. Well, but like, great, it's great to see him go viral, you know. Oh my god, yeah, I it's know, awesome, yeah, his, like success and everything. But totally, a lot of totally. It, or, sort of riding our coattails but go ahead to the next yeah but whatever yeah let's go to the next one. Oh, this one is great oh this was a fun one this was a really fun one um Patton oswalt famous stand-up comedian that's right um that starred in our video 
Yeah, we like originally wanted him to do an Italy parody video where he does jokes, but yeah, where he goes outside and because of the quarantine tells jokes, but yeah, he wanted it to be like a hostage crisis. He improvised all of this, and yeah. he so he points at this girl yeah, and says, "I'm." Said, uh, I'm, if you move a fucking muscle, I'll don't move a fucking her. muscle. I'm gonna shoot this girl over here. Those are her parents, right? Right, right. Those are her parents, and they were right there. And he says, "I'm gonna shoot her." Yeah, that was. <laughs> so it was actually Patton really wanted it to be like natural, so we didn't tell the parents ahead of time. Right. Yeah, they thought their child was gonna die. Yeah, that's and right. I think, and I think it ended up working out nicely. It did. So actually. If you look closely, yeah. Actually, we'll forget it. Well, no, no, I think we can go through another tip because he's just saying like he's he's saying like yeah, everyone, like I'm about to do something crazy, mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to play the sound, but yeah, he's like I'm about to do something crazy. Obviously, I'm going uh, to I'm yeah, going I'm gonna to, fucking nobody take move. out this little girl right here. Don't move. Uh, she's and right there. I'm gonna shoot her. Yeah, and she was great. She was awesome, yeah. Yeah, she walked away. But then if you look closely here, you see the mom clapping. You see that right there? Yeah, so that's Make actually sure something to special. Tip your food delivery. Yeah, that's something yeah. really special. She's clapping. It's like a, she had a specialized life alert. Yeah. To, like, call the police. The police if there's a hostage crisis. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So Patton actually got arrested right after this. Yeah. Um, uh, what prison? He made a great video. We made a great video, I say. Yeah, yeah. What prison is he in now? He's in Rikers, I think. They flew him out to Rikers. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm hmm And there is a pretty serious uh, outbreak there. Yeah. Um, and now Patton's, like, really involved in, like, prison reform, which is great. It's and great, yeah. It's honestly... Because... And that's thanks to our video, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can go to the next one. Yeah, we can hop. Or actually, we have these screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Right so, here, so like, we wanted to explain. Possible. Yeah, yeah, let's make that a little bigger. Um, Oops. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you. So, uh, these are just four people that have gone viral during the quarantine who are characters that we do. Yeah, people seem to think, as they do with a lot of our stuff, that the things we do are real. Um, but these are characters. It's these funny, are characters. Oh, a lot of people like they're like, "Wait, is this a parody?" <laughs> right? Yeah, we get that comment a lot. That's true. Is this even um, cool? like? Yeah, what, what I just watch. <laughs> yeah, watch totally. Yeah. So the first one, Jack Bensinger. That's, that's a character a character that we do. We do that character, and he did uh, this very, or we did this. Yeah. I refer to my yeah. characters as he. <laughs> no, I know. I see. I see a lot yeah. of my characters as separate people too. Because that's what artists do, basically. Yeah. yeah. That was. He had about one hundred and one thousand likes on that mm -hmm. video that was making fun of the Imagine celebrity video the parody video. Yeah. yeah. I would say about 689,000 of those likes are, would be ours. Would be ours if we're dividing them up evenly. Yeah, that's what yeah, I would say, too. Um, yeah. uh, we have Colin Burgess over here. Uh, and then the rest would be the characters. I forgot that they, they're us. They're us. Yeah, so, like, actually, it's all of our likes. <laughs> our likes. I would say. Um, Colin Burgess, that's a... Right. Do you want to talk about that character? Yeah, Colin Burgess, that shoot actually cost a lot of money because if you, you look closely, you yeah, Jeremy actually plays the bike and I play, Co like, Colin, the character mm -hmm. that we invented. Yeah. Uh, costume design was expensive there. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one over there is the is Nick Ciarelli and Brad Evans, who yeah. you guys might know as, who might think are, like, other yeah. people. That... There are they're fun characters to do. I really totally. like them. They're great. They're I really well, feel I loose. You you play both of them, right? I play Nick and Brad, and sometimes I Jeremy sometimes hops in and plays Drew. <laughs> right. Um, right. So some of those likes are ours as well. Seth Simons is a comedy journalist. Uh, he that went we invented. viral today. Um, he went viral today. Um, we did, yeah. Yeah. He did, yeah. He did, right. Um, sort of like an Ali G type. Character. Yeah, totally. That's a good way of describing us, I would like say. Ali G, but like yeah. written 
stuff. Right. We have a newsletter that we do. We did an interview with the CFO of UCB and took him down today. So That's right. That's right. We just get yeah. lost in the character of an investigative journalist and sort of just roll with it. Likes holding the powerful to account mm -hmm. it, as a joke. Totally. Totally. Yeah, it's all a joke. We all do it for comedy. Yeah. All right, now let's go to this last this wow. last viral video. This was a directed. really good one that we did. Yeah, this is a really good one. So this went viral. This uh, went viral, yeah. And um, we directed this shot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the main... It was a real issue with the lighting. Right. The well, lighting was a real... You want to talk about... Because Rajat got really into color theory. You want to talk about why, why purple? Yeah, of course. So we tried this with yellow and blue, um, but we felt I think it's a Jungian, a Jungian philosophy. Yeah, sort of like a Jung yeah. that well, and there's like, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the mood behind. Totally, yeah. So like, we tried this with yellow and blue, which sort of conveyed like a sadness mm -hmm. that we didn't really like. So then we switched it to to purple. Because that does that conveys more like ass to face stuff. Yeah, it's sort of like a subconscious. Um, well, ass to face. Yeah. Ass to face, yeah. And then. Do you want to talk about the the big Easter egg that we put in here? Thing is the Easter egg of the hair flip. You see it right there. Right there. <laughs> that is sort of. It's been really fun reading all the fan theories online. Oh my god! Like, yeah. Means. Um. It's really fun. Rajat and I are just sending articles to each other. <laughs> All the time. And yeah. we don't say too much about it. I, right. So the, some of the popular theories are like, what is like, what does the flip represent? Like, right. Is it sort of like... like flipping, what flipping the script, like sort of flipping the script on society kind of, yeah. right? We've, we really like that theory. And I, I encourage everyone to, like, find whatever meaning they have in this video. Oh, yeah. There's so much to chew on. Totally. Um, and sort of this very, <laughs> we spent a lot of time composing this shot and making oh sure that the cheeks were touching the head. Touching it, yeah. Yeah, and even overlapping. That's yeah, the overlap seems like it's unintentional, but that was all intentional. That was it's all very intentional. Yeah, all everything in this shot, the headphones, the guy in the hat, all intentional. And it's actually, it's, um, you'll see if you watch uh, French, a lot of French New Wave cinema that we like to watch. Totally. Uh, you'll see a lot of shots that are composed like this, and you can look that up. Right, yeah. So, and I think we were mainly inspired uh, by kind of like the, uh, the sort of, the last scene in Inception. Yeah, the spinning top. Yeah, the spinning top sort of uh, kind of like this off. Because you don't know if the hair is going to flip back. Oh, there, yeah. I don't know if the hair is going to flip back, if it's going to flip. So that was also a big influence. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah so those are our, those are our viral videos. Yeah. So I don't want anyone thinking that we haven't gone viral recently. Yeah. I don't want anyone thinking that, but if, like, feel free to follow any of these accounts, because we direct videos for them all the time. Yeah, um, Rachel Bennett, Connor O'Malley. Connor O'Malley, Patton Oswalt. Uh, He's a pretty low-key guy, Patton. Yeah, so it feels good to yeah. shout him out. It does, yeah. <laughs> um, um, Jack well, Benzinger, yeah. Colin Burgess. We need our help, yeah. What's that? Uh, Jack Benzinger, Colin Burgess, Nick and Brad. Nick and Brad, Seth Simons, and... Uh, uh, what is the baby? Uh, just search like ass twerking on Twitter, baby. and it'll Sorry, probably come up. Being on that baby, and uh, can you just like click? Yeah, on that? Sorry. baby fucking inept, maybe or baby just fuck baby inept. Fuck baby inept. <laughs> fuck baby inept is um, we work a lot with her. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Great. That's all we had. Great up and coming out of Yay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks. Wow. Thanks. Wow. Jeremy and Rajat. Did we stop our own video here? Mm -hmm. I think we got you. Oh, guys. Wow. Gorgeous filmmaking we just saw there. Absolutely gorgeous filmmaking. Um, we're going to keep it going to the next guest. I'm very excited. You've seen her 
on TV, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, she's very funny. Please give it up for Mary Houlihan. How are we doing? Pretty good. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Let me try something. Um, and then I'll be over there. Well, I think that's pretty good. Hey, Marissa, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Um, yeah, I was thinking of doing um, a small portion of my big one woman show. Um, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You probably know that I dated Jeff Nicholson for yeah, a little that. bit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's just about that. It's um, the Media Witch Google Doc Edition. I hope it's not too pixelated. You know, hey, Media Witch. We we here at Media Witch Media get enough pixels for everybody. If you know what I mean. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Well, I'll just blast off then. I guess. All right. Let's full. Let's full screen you. Cool. Am I full screen? I believe so. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So yeah, basically, um, probably a lot of you guys know, I sort of grew up um, a child star. Um, I was in, um, you know, one of these pop girl groups, you know, the kinds, it's like Spice Girls or 3LW, these kinds of groups where they'll have a bunch of girls and, you know, each one has their own like cool, unique personality trait. Um, I was the white one. So yeah, this is my group, N2MJC, nothing too much, just chilling. And when we blew up, we started getting invited to, you know, all the coolest galas and celebrity parties. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I met him. <laughs> We met at a gala, raising money for less fortunate galas. And <laughs> from then on, we were inseparable. We went to the carpet, snow, um, and even Niagara Falls. Wow, Jack, I've never been to Niagara Falls. Me neither. It's like Shamu in terms of hunger. What? Like in terms of splash. Oh. Fuck! Babe, what's wrong? I left my barrel at home. Oh, babe. I wanted to go over the falls in a barrel. Babe, it's okay. You don't have to go over the falls. You can just look at the waterfall. You're right. <laughs> oh, Jack. Niagara is so beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful. Shut up. <laughs> I won't shut up, Mayor. You're beautiful. Like a model? No. Oh. Like an actress. <laughs> what? An actress? You're crazy. <laughs> actress. <laughs> I'm serious, Mayor. I think you should give acting the old college try. Whatever, Jack. I may be amazing at singing and dancing, but that doesn't mean I'll be good at uh, acting, too. You know how you love pizza, right? Sure, I love pizza. Wrong. Huh? You don't like pizza. I don't like pizza? Say it. <gasps> you don't like pizza. I don't like pizza. Louder! I don't like pizza! Like you mean it! I... I hate pizza! 
important people in the world, Mayor. Mm. More important than doctors or the president of China. Without good actors, we wouldn't know whether we should like RoboCop or not like RoboCop. Mm. Come on, Mayor. Realize your full potential and quit that dang singing group. They're dragging you down. Quit the singing group? But Zochel and Melanie are my best friends. I don't know. Who are you going to trust, Mayor? Your friends or your husband? <laughs> but, Jack, we're not married. Jack. <gasps> not in front of all these people. <laughs> Marry me, Mayor. Mayor, make me the happiest man on this spinning blue marble and marry me. Oh, Jack, I will. <laughs> So yeah, things were pretty good. Until they weren't. <laughs> Eventually I found out that Jack was struggling with an addiction to a massively multiplayer online role-playing gaming. Um, and he would play WoW for hours every day. Um, and one time he called me a noob. Yeah. And the worst was when I found out that he was having an affair on Second Life with an avatar that kind of looks like me, but way hotter. And Jack's avatar also was a really sexy girl. Our worst fight of all was on Valentine's Day. Nope, no Valentine's plans. Unless he has some sort of surprise cooked up. Which, honey, I doubt it. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll. Maybe we should break up. Like, I'm honestly, like, this close. Get away, man. I'm home. That's him. Gotta go. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, Mayor. I'm home. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Mayor. Check this out. Here's Johnny. It's pretty funny, Jack. Again. So what's cooking? Smells good. Literally nothing. I don't know what you're smelling. Oh, must have got some Benihana still stuck in the nose hairs. <gasps> you went to Benihana without me? Yeah, got <gasps> me some chicken teriyaki at the go bag. But some homeless guy stole it right out of my hands. That's what you said last time, Jack. And there was no homeless guy then, and there was no homeless guy now. Uh, you can't uh, Jack Nicholson, do you even know what day today is? Uh, Thursday? It's Saturday. It's the weekend. And it's Valentine's Day. You're out at Benny Hanna with God knows you, and you haven't done a single thing for me. Hey, that's not true. I got you a present. From GameStop? Well, I didn't have time to wrap it. Gosh. Here, check it out. It's a PlayStation there. And I got you a copy of Twisted Metal. I know you love that truck with the flaming clown on it. No, Jack. You love the truck with the flaming clown on it. <laughs> Guilty. Well, come on, Mayor. Let's play a game. Oh, you know what? Hmm? It actually only comes with one controller. Uh, but I know you like writing anyway, so why don't I go ahead and play while you get your work done? Jack, babe, um, do you think before you play Twisted Metal, we could maybe chat? Um, 
babe. What's wrong, Mayor? Yeah, if we could just chat before you um, start playing the game, that would be good. Um, the game's already started, Mayor. Oh my god, yeah, pause the game. You can't just pause the game. Oh my god, Jack, pre press the start button, the middle button on the controller. And yeah. Oh my god. I literally never knew you could do that. Whoa. Game changer. Okay, Jack Nicholson, how do I phrase this? Okay, well, I know we're from different generations and we have different communication styles. Um, and so I know you're not like trying to be rude to me sometimes. Um, but you just really hurt my feelings tonight. And oh my God, stop playing Twisted Metal. Oh my God. I can't do this anymore. Hey, hey. Stop. Come on, there. Stop. Cheer up. You know I love you, man. I honestly thought you'd like the PlayStation. I know I might be a little rough around the edges, but when it comes down to it, I want to be your man there. I support you. I bought you that fold-up computer you're always using. <laughs> and I go to all your comedy shows. Yeah, Jack, you drive to all my comedy shows, and then you sit in your parked car the whole time. Well, hey, how about that one time? Uh, one leg in, one leg out doesn't count Jack Nicholson. Come on, Mayor. The Q was doing a two for Tuesday in Hotel California just started. I had to find out that second Eagle song, Mayor. <sighs> That's it. Um, for now. Marissa, I think I'm going to do the whole show from my apartment on Wednesday, but I don't know what website I'm oh going to do. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, <laughs> wow. That was romantic as hell. Yeah, it's like, are we going to wind up together? Are we going to break up? Who knows? It's like, it's like a, dare I say, like a movie. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, thank you so much, Mary. Um, follow her to see what happens with the full show. Or thank where you it's having me, Marissa. I love the show very much. Oh my god, thank you. You were great. You. Everybody, okay. Wow. Bye, Mary. And Bye. Let's, okay, I'm gonna play the <laughs> everyone. Okay, abrupt applause stop. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. That was the last act. Um, one more time, Venmo Marissa Dash Goldman um i have to be so badly uh subscribe and uh follow oh my god follow me at the media witch underscore follow all of the amazing performers i love them all so much um and thank you so much for tuning in it will be again next week on uh, every saturday for the foreseeable future i hope that we won't have to do it uh but we very well might bye